Hey, what's up? This is me, Dr. G. You're tuning into the Dr. G Show. Hey, Tonya, what's up? Um, I like your videos, you know, so I'm just kind of like, I've been following you for a little while, and they say a lot of very, very good stuff and a lot of important stuff. I just had to decide to do a really, really response to this because there is a lot of guys out there that um, don't really know who they are, and a lot of females don't know who they are. And one of the things that I think you should have emphasized in your video is the fact that you need to get to take time with yourself. Take time to know who you are, take time to know where you're going, and take time to know your goals and what what enjoy and what, what excites you, what gets you overwhelmed. And um, one of the key things about life is that it's a learning thing. Um, when you're in a different situation or wherever you are as a person, and because you you're in a different situation, you don't know the type of response you might be, be or how you might develop, or how you might um, respond in a different kind of situation. And it's important that you take time to know who you are, put yourself in some situations where you can see that response and and see how you deal with it. Um, life throws, um, you know, there's there's one scripture that says. You know, the, uh, one quote that people say a lot that God doesn't give you more than you can bear. Yes, I'll talk about God because in the beginning of the video, you talk about karma and whatever will come back and go around. I will say that it's important to know that you build your relationship on God. Um, in all your video I was listening to, you know, you, it's important to, if you're going to explore somebody and explore the person, remember, I only promote life lasting relationships. That's what it's about. And you got to see what that person is focused on. See if they're built on God. And if you build a relationship with God being in the center of it, everything else will work around it. There are some messed up out people people out there that they become fake. They say that they believe in God. They study the word of God, but not really. The, the word of God will shine through and show you the principles that that person really makes up their life about. So, I'm saying a lot of things there. One, I think that, you know, you got to take time to know who you are and, and develop that character and see that, that, that beauty of you inside. And, um, and when you see that beautiful character that you have developed, then somebody else will see it too. And, um, and, and men and women out there that are looking for partners, you know, looking for life companions, looking for people that can be their support and their cornerstone and their shoulder you know there are people out there looking for this and one of the things that I will tell you while looking is that in a world where there is so much evil you know so much wrongdoing so much um, times where you see people fall short of even doing good is that you now we I, I, I have to warn you I have to push you I have to motivate you guys to know that take the time to to know yourself know who you are so that they they can't come and mess up your life and um you know um there are there are a lot of times that people are human and, and this is the thing that you know we they make mistakes and um you know once twice three times shy to say but you you have to know the person and try and know where their limits are and once you've known yourself once you know yourself then you could be a better better good of judge of character and that's what I would say, Tanya. I mean, one of the things you said also, Tanya, was that um, compromise. You know, and, uh, and you talk about the the um, being being a part of you uh, relationships. He can meet you like fit in that triangle kind of situation. I'm trying to bring it back to the to the words that you use, but I can't. You know, if you can remember, reflecting on that, I believe that. Life is about compromise. All through your life, you've already had to compromise in a classroom. This in in in, the, in in a relationship, you know, there are things that you would have to understand. Compromise. You'd have to not understand weaknesses. You'd have to understand that this person can, you know, it's about meeting them, meeting them halfway, meeting them where they're at, and see if they will meet you at the way. So know their limits. If you understand what I'm saying, know where they where their limits are lie. And if you know where the limits are lie, then they can meet you where you're at. You know, the other thing I was saying is that is that one of the things about about life is that we can't change we can't change the fact that we are alive. But we can change the fact that we can live happily. You know, um and happiness doesn't doesn't build on the amount of things that you can attain. 
or happiness and doesn't build on the amount of things that you can have in life but it builds on the kind of person you are inside and there were a lot of people out there hurting and, and, and a lot of people that are that are painful inside uh, and because they have so much pain inside they're not genuinely happy so before they you might see them with a good job you might see them with a good car you might see them with a with the with the you know with all the good things so you're thinking okay this person this person is on the wedding so I can meet them and you know and they're not happy people and because they're not because they're not happy people inside with who they are they then affect you not just physical abuse which I'm coming to because I'm uh, you know I, I'm, I will come to that in a minute is that they, they they would hurt you emotionally inside because they're not genuinely happy so how, how do you see these things you, you have to look at yourself and then you recognize the things the simple things in life that make you happy there's a word that biblically a lot of people use and attain to be you know they say they talk about is, is humble now a humble person is very hard to find in this world today one that has a, a humble behavior lifestyle that they're not puffed up in their ways and they, they, they they're very down to earth and they know exactly um, they, to be comfortable with the situ with, with situation that is like in life because you can have one thing the next and, and 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 the power of God can just take it away and just to show you that listen I am in control of your life and that's some, that, that, that that's a, that's another thing with the, with with, the, with the God being in control of your life so it's important to, to be very humble and, and and to know that that humble person in you will shine through and make you sincerely happy um, the other thing I want to talk about, yes, is uh, we got to it. Is abuse. Abuse comes from any angle, and it's not just the physical, which I I agree with you, Tanya. You know, it's not just the physical abuse that really is as upsetting. It's the emotional one, the one that the one that you know is verbal. You know, you say things that hurt, and it pierced their heart, and it pierced their self-esteem. And it damaged that person inside, and that you know, there's ones they say once you say a bad word or once you say something very hurtful, you can't take it back. And as much as as much as men or you know the physical abuse, you know, I I, I told you this is totally wrong. I agree with you, and but the, the same thing with the verbal abuse, it, it damages the courage you say to someone. Watch your words. Be be be. Look at how they speak to you. How they respect you, how they come across to you, and how they under understand you as a person, you know. Uh, and if if that person, uh, Tanya, you say, look, I tell you this, Doctor G, say, listen, it's about life, lasting relation. That person raised their hand to you, even just for one second, and even think about it, you know. And and, and in the favors, know that you walk away, you close that door, you don't even ask them or give them a reason. They will know. You just close that door behind you. Yeah, this is Dr. G. You know exactly what I'm telling you. And I got to explain to you this. I believe that in every in every good man, you know, the, in, in every man there's a, there's a chance for a good quality to come out. But you've got to know your toleration of them. And every woman is the same thing. So remember this and I, I I can't express to you Tony I love your videos you keep doing what you're doing and I'm gonna try to keep doing what I'm doing and it's important that if you're dating late people know say that's the other thing say what you're doing I am just looking there's nothing be clear I am just looking I only want to get to know you let them know where you're at if you let them know where you're at it is so much easier on you you can enjoy what you're doing at least they know where you're at listen I'm not looking for a relationship but I like you I want to enjoy your company and see where you're at and, and that's what life is about it's about smiles you know um, I watched this movie one time and I think it's training day uh, I think he says that one of my favorite films he goes um, he said they were, got a joke I thought life is about I'm wrapping up now he said life is about smiles and cries and I was like mm, he could be onto something he's right you know life is about look after your smiles because that's all you got right so the more joy you have in life the more you want you you it's all about the you. dr g show what do i promote life lasting relationships